Hey up Terra fans, Chris here. Happy New Year. We're kicking off 2025 with incredible momentum after an exciting time at the world's biggest tech convention, CES. We debuted our production intent vehicles to the world, resulting in over a thousand media mentions. We also had over a thousand Aptera fans come to see these groundbreaking vehicles in person. We're so thankful for the overwhelming support from our community. Seeing so many of you in Las Vegas reaffirms our passion and commitment for Aptera's future. At the show, we brought two production intent vehicles. The first was a full visual Aptera, featuring the complete interior and exterior. From the center console to the yoke, seats, cargo bunk, and even little details like the document holder for registration and insurance. A phone holder, 12 volt accessory port, and so much more. After years of development and digital rendering, this is the interior that will be in your Aptera. It's really here. Also at the booth, we displayed an exploded body in carbon from our partner CPC Group, on top of a production intent frame from Coastamp. Since we prioritize efficiency, the frame shown at CES is getting ready to be bonded to the next engineering validation build. We also announced a partnership with LG Energy Solution to supply their battery cells to our solar EV. LG ES is the top tier supplier of batteries for the EV industry, and we're thrilled to have them along for the journey with us. This will give Aptera owners a reliable battery cell and allow us to build the most energy dense battery pack in the industry. LG ES will supply the cells and our partner CTNS will make the battery modules. During CES, we were given media ride-alongs in our track performance vehicle. This vehicle has our production size 44 kilowatt hour battery pack, production drivetrain, and full solar integration. The VCU, BMS, AGM, low voltage PDUs, point of use controllers, and much more were all talking to each other just as they will in your Aptera. The solar peaked at 395 watts in the Las Vegas winter sun and even delivered over 100 watts in shaded conditions. These real world results are just a glimpse of the promise solar mobility holds, with peak energy production getting even higher in the summer months. In addition to our presence on the show floor, we also hosted an incredible CES after party where over 800 Aptera supporters gathered to celebrate our progress. I had the opportunity to speak about what Aptera means for the future of transportation and sustainability, sharing our vision with a room full of passionate advocates. Chris McCammon hosted an insightful engineering panel discussion, highlighting what makes working for Aptera so unique and important in shaping the future of mobility. It was an unforgettable night, and we're so grateful to everyone who joined us. Now that the team is back from CES, we're shifting focus to our track testing. Our performance track vehicle is being outfitted with wheel pants and will head to a major OEM track in the coming weeks. These tests will allow us to validate our vehicle efficiency, range, and more. By having truly tested watt hour per mile figures, we'll be able to quantify our solar charging estimates as well. It's a thrilling time to be an Aptera fan. Now let's talk about the validation phase. Every part you see on our production intent vehicle comes from our production intent design. This includes everything from the position of components down to the bolts that secure everything together. Depending on the stage of validation, some components are made using low volume tools, while others come directly off of high volume production tools. For example, our body structure uses full production parts, while certain interior components are created with a low volume production method, but two production specifications. This lets us thoroughly validate every part before committing to the cost of high volume tooling. Though designs are finalized, the validation phase is crucial in refining every aspect of the vehicle. During this phase, we will have the opportunity to add or remove material, strengthen areas prone to wear and tear, or reduce complexity to cut weight where possible. It's a delicate balance that will let us achieve the best performing and lowest weight vehicle possible for high volume production. This is a common practice in vehicle development, ensuring that when we move to full-scale production, every component is optimized and ready. While the vehicles are getting validated, Aptera Solar has built their clean room and are now able to make panels in a dust-free environment. I'll hand it off to Reed to explain what this means for production readiness of our solar production process. Take it away, Reed. So behind us is our new Aptera Solar clean room. And what a clean room is, is just a space where we want to control how clean the air is. Built to ISO 8 specs, we use it to make sure we don't have any particulate in our laminates and our solar panels, make sure they get as much light as possible. And we do this in a few ways. We wear gowns, we have positive air pressure, so we're constantly circulating air. We have a HEPA filter, we wear gloves and hairnets, and all of this is just to keep 
our solar panels and what's inside our solar panels as clean as possible. This is a pivotal moment for Uptera. Our production intent vehicles are advancing through the validation phase and we're hard at work striving towards a truly democratized way to raise the capital needed for us to start production in 2025. We couldn't be more excited about what's to come. Thank you for your continued support and let's make this a year to remember.